God, but you are real. And we give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God myself. I thank you, Lord. I honor you, God. Hallelujah, God. I thank Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory. <coughs> Thank you for your power. Yes. Thank you for your presence. Yes. Hallelujah. You know the Bible tells us to acknowledge him yes. in all of our ways. All our ways. And I acknowledge his power on this yes. morning yes. and his Lord. presence. Hallelujah. And I say, Thank you, God. Uh, yes, Lord. I say, Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Our scripture yes. on this morning, hallelujah. Yes, Yes. Coming out of Hebrews 12, Hallelujah. verses 1 through Glory. 3. Yes. Wherefore, sin we also are compassed about with such greater cloud of witness. Yes. Let us lay aside every weight. Every weight. Shake it out now. Mm -hmm. And the sin yes. which do it so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Yes. Looking unto Jesus. Come on, on y'all. Let's look yes. up. Look, look up. your heads up. Yes. The author and finisher of our faith. Yes. Who for the joy. Oh. Come on, you ought to have some joy this morning. Oh, yes. That oh, was yes. set before him. Yes. Endured the cross. Yes. Despising the shame. Oh, yes. Shake that stuff out. That's right. And is set down at the right hand of the throne of grace. Now you know you're co-anchored with him. You know your position. You co-anchored sitting at the right hand of the Father. Come on somebody. You need to know your position this morning. You are joint heir with him. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Come on somebody. Tell them I ain't faint this morning. I got joy this morning. I know
hallelujah, that this coming Sunday, our district missionary Wanda White will be here. We asking that you come and support full numbers, hallelujah. That's right. Make yourself present. That's right. Make yourself known, yes. hallelujah, showing that you are a supporter of good works. Yes. We come to represent the Lord, yes. not me, not pastor, not the women's department, but we are coming because what we do for Christ is the only thing that's going to last. That's right, that's right. And I don't know the other announcements. I hit something, so forgive me. Super Bowl Hallelujah. party next Saturday, next Sunday at the Johnsons. Super Bowl party next Sunday at the Johnsons in Thomasville. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And at this time, hallelujah, we're going to turn it over in the hands of our sister, J. Aaron. Hallelujah. And immediately following the singing, hallelujah, we're turning it over in the hands of our pastor. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Our pastor. Hallelujah. This is our pastor. We are so grateful. He's a pastor above pastors. Hallelujah. And you know, like some people have so many talents and gifts, we say they're the jack of all trades. And we know our pastor is just like that. He become like Paul says, I become all things to all men. He knows a lot. But he don't show it because he be, that means he gets down on your level, not to make himself any higher than you. So we praise God for having a pastor like that. You don't get that everywhere. Some are so high that you can't touch them. But he comes down to our level so that we can have a great understanding. So give it up for our pastor. <laughs> And be glad in it. How many of you have had somebody come up to you this week? Maybe it was just me. They come up to you this week and they ask you, how are you doing? And you let go. You unleashed on them and you said, I'm, I'm just going through it. Anybody else? Anyone else feel like they just been down? And I woke up this morning and I said, I'm tired of that being my answer. I'm tired of my answer being that I'm so weighed down by life, because problems is always going to come, right? That's right? But we got to flip that perspective, because I'm pretty sure when David then danced himself out of the clothes, that he was thinking back on all the things that God that brought him through, and just the mercies and the wonderfulness and the, the fullness of God, right? So we don't have no drums this morning, but I'm pretty sure that David didn't need no drums, he didn't need a lose, he didn't need a lion, he just was just dancing and just praising God. We got our hands, we want to lift up our hands, and we just want to think back, I encourage you to think back of all that God has brought you through. This song dropped into my spirit. It's an old song, and it's a little wordy, but um, Deacon Knox was talking about how we used to have to memorize scripture. And I love songs that help us do that. This song helps us do that. And this song says,
you to sing it with her. I want you to sing it to the Lord. Oh, how you walk with me. Oh, how you talk to me. Because there's one benefit in corporate worship, but there's another benefit in singular worship. Where it's just you and God. And I want you to do this for me. Forget about the bills you left at home. Forget about the problems you left outside of here. We're in the house of the Lord. We're in the presence of God. And I really want to take off running. I really just want to jump to the ceiling. Because he's been just that good. I haven't been that good, but he has been good. That's why we sing to him. Uh -huh. That's why we worship him. We don't worship self. We don't worship one another. But at all times, we worship
trying to move on, so the Holy Ghost is still at work. Yes, Lord. I don't know why, but God said I heard you the first time. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
Destinated. Yeah. You, you mean where I am was a predestination? Yeah. 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 The state I'm in was a predestination? Yes. Even the problems you have are a predestination yeah. for the manifestation of God's glory. Yeah. And when God finishes with you, I'm so glad he's not done yet. Yes. Amen. Somebody just say better. Better. May not feel it. Better is not a feeling. Better is a truth. Better is not a fact. Better is a truth. The Bible says, and the truth shall make you free. So I'm predestinated to be where I am. I've been called to be who I am. I've been justified. It's, and, 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 and Pastor Duffy, justification is not an action. Amen. Justification is a declaration. Yeah. He declared us justified. When we accepted him, he declared justified. Amen. Well, Lord, you don't know who he is. Uh, yes, I do. Amen. And I still justify him. Lord, you don't know what she's done. Yes, I do. And I still declare her justified. Amen. And then whom he justified, he also glorified. Yeah. You've got God's glory all over you. Yeah. Amen. The glory of And he, when, when, when uh, in the year the kings of Zion died, I saw also the Lord. He was high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And the Bible says, and the priests could not stand to minister for the glory of God. Amen. You know why people can't overrun you, overtake you, undermine you, defeat you? It's because God has glorified you can't do nothing with the glory of God. God has put you in a place. I know you don't like the place. It's uncomfortable. I'm there too. But I know that I'm in protective custody. Yes, yes. yes. Amen, amen. Amen. 
I'm in protective custody. Looks like it feels like I'm boxed in. I can't go here and there and I can't do this and that. But I'm in protective custody. And in protective custody, let me use a, a, an incarceration term, I get free hot in a cop. Amen. My meals are provided and a place to rest yeah. in protective custody. Yeah. Mm. And then he goes on to say, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Amen. It is God that justifieth. I know folks putting their mouth on you, but uh, they can't put their hands on it. Amen. 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 And the only, the only reason they put their mouth on you because that's the only thing they can run is their mouth. Amen. They can't run nothing else. Oh, God. Then he says, who is he that condemneth that is Christ died, yea, that is risen again? who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. God is praying on your behalf for your success. Amen. God is praying for you to make it. Jesus Christ himself is making intercession for you according to the will of God. Then he says, who shall separate us from the love of God, Amen. love of Christ? What, what, what's what's, what's going to get you? To quit. It says, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Somebody say nay. Nay. Nay means nothing shall separate me from the love that my Savior has for me. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's got you. 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 You're in good hands with God. Amen. Keep on going. Don't stop. Don't quit. Don't back up. Because God will be done when he gets there. Turn with me in your word to Isaiah, the 12th chapter. We don't always understand what God is doing. Therefore, we must know that he knows what he's doing. Let me say that again. We may not always understand what God is doing, but we must always know that he knows what he's doing. God is always right. God makes no mistakes. In Sunday school, we learned of the supremacy of Christ. He is supreme above all things, above all people, above all places. Therefore, we must trust him. We must give full allegiance to who he is. Yes. The song says, I surrender all, yeah. all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. It's when we surrender that we take the load off of ourselves. What keeps you up at night? Is it a God thing or is it a your thing? What keeps you in the midnight hour, looking at the ceiling. What keeps you distracted during the day? If it's something other than what the Lord has 
given you to think about, then we need to check our priorities. Because he told us to cast. And if it wasn't, uh, I'm going to do it anyway. He told us to cast. Here are our cares. Amen. And when you cast something, you put it out of reach. Amen. Out of reach. All the way, as far as it can go, out of your reach to go back and get it. Amen. Cast all our cares upon him. Yes. The things we can control and the things we can't. All of our cares upon him. And we've learned in this month as we'll focus in this year on the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. If God can't do anything about it, nobody else can either. Amen. The cantankerous people in our lives, God can't do nothing about. It. We can't either. Amen. Those situations and circumstances that are beyond our control, sometimes it just feels like life is just spinning out of control. You're trying to grab hold of, of, of the spin cycle and you're, you're expending energy that is useless because if God can't do anything about it, Nobody else can either, including you. Amen. So you have to give those people to God, those circumstances to God, those small things, big things, and everything in between to God. You ever talk with somebody and it seems like the more you talk, the worse they get? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's just me. <laughs> God bless you if you don't have to deal with people like that. But it's the Lord that made them. It's the Lord that's going to bring them back to where they need to be. Amen. It's the Lord that's going to help them. Yes. And it's the Lord that's going to help you until they yes. come in line. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Help me help us. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so we focused on righteousness. The Bible says that he hath made him Jesus Christ. To be sin for us. Who knew no sin. Amen. That we might be made. The righteousness of God. In him. And we learned that our righteousness. Is just filthy. Rags. Amen. And we've got some very righteous people. We've got some people that don't sin. Come on now. We got some people that live a holy and consecrated life from week to week. And they're saved. And, and, and you still have to understand that when it's our righteousness, it's still filthy bread. Amen. It's the righteousness of God that makes this life worth living. Because in and of myself, I am nothing but in him. I have worth, I have value, I have yes. security, yes. I yes. have serenity, I have yes. peace, yes. I, I have love in my heart because of him. Yes. I have strength yes. to get from day to day because of him. I have power to overcome because yes. of him. Amen. 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 Not only do we have kingdom righteousness, but we have kingdom peace. Yes. Yes. Colossians 3.15, and let the peace, peace has to have your permission. Yes. If peace does not have your permission, it cannot operate like it needs to. Mm. Mm. Blessed are the peacemakers. Yes. Peace has to have your permission. And because our peace is uh, disturbed, diluted, and confused, he says, my peace I give unto you. Yes. Amen. Not as the world gives it, because where do we find peace in the world? And some Hennessy and some Ciroc, and there's going to be a ton of it bought for next weekend. Whole lot.
lot of folks bought some when that was lost. But anyway, um, <laughs> but, but peace in God is the only peace worth having. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Jesus. And let the peace of God rule in your heart. To the which also you're called in one body. So my peace can't be on my terms for your life. But it has to be the peace of God. Amen. And let the peace of God. That three letter word is so powerful. Because even this morning, you had to let off the gas and put on the brake yes. or else you were going to cause an accident on the way here. Amen. So you got to let the peace of God be in the forefront of your life. Let the peace of God rule. I know you want your way, I want mine too. Because I want to go to the Cheesecake Factory today. <laughs> but my bank won't let me. <laughs> my bank account said no. <laughs> Do you understand that peace has to have your permission to be effective? Oh, God. Our focus must be on heavenly things and not on the things of the earth. When we lose focus on heavenly things, y'all know what happens. Amen. We stay up all night. When we lose focus on heavenly things, uh, we, we end up uh, uh, taking God's time and doing other things. Yes. When we lose our focus, other things become a priority. When we lose our focus, other people become priority. Yes. When we lose our focus, we don't chase after the heart of God like we should. When we lose our focus, lose our place, lose our purpose, lose, we lose, lose, lose. And we keep on losing. And the graciousness of God says, uh, I'm going to be here when you get back. You ever notice that God doesn't follow after you when you get off track? He just, he just stands right there and says, this way, come, come on back this way. When you get through bumping your head, come on back this way. Can I say it another way? When we get sick and tired of being sick and tired, we come back to where we're supposed to yeah, be in right, God. Right, right. Right. Yeah. We start chasing after righteousness, the peace of God, and joy in the Holy Ghost like we should. It's only when you get tired of the person that you made yourself to be. And all of us want to be our own person. Don't nobody tell me what to do. Okay. See how long that's going to work out for you. <laughs> we want to do some things, and we do do some things, and we end up having to go back where we came from. Yeah. Because those things didn't bring us the peace of God. Those things didn't, didn't prove out to be righteous. Those things didn't prove out to have joy in them. They were happiness for a little minute. And then when the fun was over, disappointment came in. Amen. And we end up saying, it was good while it lasted, but it just didn't last long enough. Only what you do for Christ will truly last Amen. like it should. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes. The joy of the Holy Ghost is what I want to talk about for the next five or ten minutes. And I'll be out of your way. We'll take communion. We'll go home. The joy of the Holy Ghost. And that Romans 14 and 17 says, but the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. The kingdom of God is not a tangible substance. And, and if you're going to live for an eternity, you have to disconnect your heart from tangible things. Amen. You let somebody come by and rub up against our truck. Ooh, you in for a fight somebody come by and, and brush up against us, step on our new shoes and, and, and see how much legend we got. Uh, but, but we must disconnect our heart from the things that mean us no good for the things of heaven. And we need that righteousness in the Holy Ghost, that peace in the Holy Ghost, that joy in the Holy Ghost. And I've said over and over again, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Throughout your day, Lord, thank you for the Holy Ghost. Fill me, Lord. Uh, endow me, Lord. 
with power from on high. I, I need you in me, Lord. I just don't need you around me. Yes, I know you talk to me, but I need you talking from the inside out. I, I just don't need an, an encounter with you, but I need an experience with you. A day-to-day -day experience that takes me from morning till night and even overnight. I need your presence, oh God, to come in and inundate me, to overwhelm me. I need your presence, your Holy Ghost power to operate in my life. It's like having lights on your car and you driving out in the country, pitch black road with no lights on. You got the power to have light, but you won't turn it on. You driving by the force, and that force leads you right into a ditch or a tree. But let the Holy Ghost operate in your life. Let the Holy Ghost have preeminence and priority. Everything you encounter and come up against, Lord, I need you. Speak to my heart, Lord. Give me which way to go. Give me what to say, Lord. Give me what not to say, Lord. Yeah. Fix my face. Oh, we need to stay on that one for a minute. <laughs> Lord, fix my face. Yeah. She knows she got on my last nerve, but fix my face, Lord. Yeah. Let me love her the proper way. Yeah. Let me speak yeah. to him the right way. Yeah. God, I need you to teach me how to be me, yes. how to be yeah. more like you yes. and less of me. Yes. I need you, Lord. Yes. In every situation, yes. when I'm in front of the children, yes. when I'm in front of the governor and the president, teach me, Lord, how to go in and out before your people. Oh Hallelujah. And God will do it. I have a witness that God will do it. God will teach you how to go. God will teach you what to say. God will show you the way. He'll guide you around obstacles. He'll get you the way you're supposed to be. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, there's a way that you can go. And there's also a way that you should not go. Amen. Now, if I'm going to get from here to there, the best way is to go the clear way, but that's a long way. Amen. Now, what I'm going to do was on purpose. I don't want nobody to get upset. Okay, man, but if I wanted to get there the quickest way, and then you sit here trying to, Climb over it. <laughs> you got there, but you beat up. You are hurt. You got black eyes. You got bruised everything. You got there, but you're in no shape to do anything when you get there. Oh, God. Hallelujah. How much have you come through that was yours and not God's? When all you had to do was take the long way, the sure way, the comfortable way. The safe way. Hallelujah. God will guide you in where to go. God will get you there in one piece. It may take longer, but God will stop time if you have to so that you can get there in peace. Yes. Amen. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Woo. Oh, God. And God showed me that yesterday. And I said, Lord, these folks are going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> but he said they'll never forget it. Amen. Amen. You can go your way or God's way. Amen. You can take the Burger King way or the Holy Ghost way. Amen. Have it your way if you want to. You're going to get what you want. Amen. Glory to God. God wants the very best for us. Amen. He wants the very best. Isaiah, the 12th chapter. Now I'm just going to read. And in that day, Isaiah 12 and 1, and in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Why does he start off like that? In that day, I will praise thee. Though thou wast angry with me, thy anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall he draw water out of the wells of salvation. Amen. 
And in that day, somebody say that day. That day. Ye say, praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Then he says in verse 6, Cry out and shout, thou inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Amen. We're living in that day right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where we're free to praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he used to be angry with us. But because we've accepted Jesus Christ into our heart. Hallelujah. His anger is turned away from us. And he comforts us. You get comfort every time you turn around. When you get bad news, God comes in just softly and sweetly and lets you know that everything is going to be all right. God is our salvation. We don't trust in what we see. We don't trust in what we hear. But we trust in him. And we're not afraid of anything. Somebody say, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Uh-huh. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. I ain't scared because I've got the strength of God. I ain't scared because I sing the songs of God. I ain't scared because he's the one, my salvation. I don't have to fear a thing, but I can walk through fire and not be burned. I can walk through water and not drown. I can walk on top of things and not up under the things. Hallelujah. God is my salvation. God is my strength. God is Because God gives us joy and not happiness. 
Amen. Joy is uncircumstantial. Happy is when I get a new house. Yeah. Happy is when I get a new car. Yeah. Happy is when I get my tax return. Yeah. And, and tithe the due on the tax return. Amen. And yeah. so, uh, and in that day, he says, ye shall say, praise the Lord. Learn how to keep a praise on your lips. Yes. Learn how to speak life into your life. Yes. Oh, I'm yes. so sick, and you're going to be because you just said That's it. I am healed. I am well. I am whole. I am complete. Lay hands on yourself. Amen. Even if you got folks that are saying that in your life, go by and you ain't got to be loud like me just say in the name of Jesus. And heal the Lord. Deliver her. Lift his spirit, God. And they never have to know a thing. And before long, they be encouraging you. Do you know the Lord will do it? Yes, I do because I prayed for him to do it for you. Uh-huh. Go use the power that God has given you Amen. to change the atmosphere. Yes. Because the words that come out of our mouth are sound waves. Yes. They interrupt the atmosphere. What the God. enemy meant for evil, God will mean it for your good. Yes, yes you're going to have to go through. But how many know we're coming out? Yes. With our hands up, we're coming out. Uh, with the praise on our lips, we're coming out. Hallelujah. So he says, praise the Lord. Come on, let's practice that right now. Everybody just give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You can be riding down the highway and just say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you'll begin to see the atmosphere in your car change. Oh, God. You begin to see uh, the outlook become brighter. And as you, the more you praise God, the better it feels. God, I thank you. God, I bless you. God, I honor you. I give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You begin to pat your hip a little bit. No music in sight, but in sound. But yeah, there's a melody that boils up in your heart. That says, Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah. I lift your name on high. I love to sing your praises. He says, call upon his name. Whatever's going on, tell God about it. Declare his doings among the people. When God does it, testify about it. Because they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Tell somebody that God heals. Tell somebody that God delivers. Tell somebody that God will turn it around. Tell somebody that he's a lifter up on your head. Tell somebody that he'll make a difference. Tell somebody that he can. Tell somebody that he will. Tell somebody that he has. Tell somebody that he'll do it again. How many know the Lord will do it again? If he's done it before, he'll do it again. And again. And again. He says, make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord. For he hath done excellent things. Yes, you did a good thing by loaning me ten dollars. But God does excellent things. Yes, you did good by giving me a ride. But God does excellent things. Not only does he give me a ride, but he makes a way. He gives me a car. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Make it known in all the earth. Don't just testify in church. But tell the world that God can. Tell the world that God did. Tell the world that God will do it again. Hallelujah. And then verse 6 says, cry out and shout. Hallelujah. Don't be silent about it, but shout to the top of your voice. God, you're so good. Shout to the top of your voice. God, you have done it before. God, you're going to do it again. I give you praise, oh God. He says, everybody in Zion, 
12th chapter. Yes. Verse 1 through 3. Yes. Wherefore, seeing we're compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Listen, this ain't new. God's been doing this forever. Yes. God's been blessing his people forever. Yes. God's yes. been healing forever. Yes. Saving forever. Yes. Delivering forever. Yes. Providing forever. Yes. And if he's done it before, he'll do it again. Yes. If he's done it for others, he'll do it for you. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Well, we'll see we're compassed enough with so great a cloud of witnesses. Yes. Let us lay aside every way. and stones may break my bones but names will never hurt me. Amen. I've got to lay that aside because if you come up and say you old bald headed man it's the truth. It may hurt but it's the truth. Amen. No hair. Okay. Alright. Somebody say keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't get hung up on anything. That's right. Don't get stuck. Don't allow post-traumatic stress disorder to halt your life. Because if you begin to dwell on a thing, you stop living from that point forward. Yes, you brush your teeth every day. Yes, you take a bath. Yes, you still clean the stove and the floor. But you stop in your mind concerning certain things. Don't give the devil the power to get you to stop living. He's not the one that gave you life, and he's not the one that can stop life. My life belongs to the Lord. My life is in him. So why should I stop right here? I'm going to lay that stuff aside. And if I can't lay it aside, I'm going to throw it aside. And give it to God. And let God handle it. Let God deal with those situations and circumstances that have caused me so much trouble. I'm not saying that it's not relevant and real. I'm saying give it to God. Yes. Lay aside every weight and the sin that just so easily besets you. Yes. I told you, Mountain Dew and chocolate. Mountain Dew and chocolate is what gets me. Amen. I, I don't need the chocolate. It adds pounds and it breaks out my face. So if y'all see bumps breaking out up here, Pastor don't have too much chocolate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But there are some things that just get under our skin more than anything. There are some people that can say some stuff. Now another person can say it just the same. Y'all seen that commercial where TV dad has a greater voice than dad in the house? Dad say the same thing and the, the child ignores it and then TV dad comes along and they're like, you know you're right. And dad is saying, I just told you that. Amen. Lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us and then do what? Let us run with patience. Amen. You're not going to get there in one day, but you're going to get there. Amen. You're not going to get there in record time, but you're going to get there. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that the Lord allows us just to finish. Yeah. All I want to do is finish. I ain't got to come in first. Hallelujah. I'll even come in last. Because my Bible tells me, Pastor Duffy, Amen. that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. I just want to be in line. I just want to finish and finish strong. Lay aside every weight and the sin uh, that does so easily beset us and let us run with patience. The race that is set before us. I'm not here to run your race. I can't run your race. I got a number on my hands with my race. Amen. And then he says, looking unto Jesus. I'm not in competition with you. I'm in cooperation with you. Both of us are trying to get to heaven. I ain't trying to beat you. You ain't trying to beat me. Let's get it together. So that we can get it together. I'm sorry. I, I feel like running for real now. Hallelujah. I'm keeping my focus so I can finish. Amen. And the sin, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy, somebody say joy. Joy. It's, it, 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 it's not an earthly joy, it's a kingdom joy. Mm. Who for the joy that was set before him. When we get distracted, we lose our drive to keep going. I know mama passed away. I know auntie died. I know granddaddy passed away. I, I know you lost somebody in the stock market. 
I, I know you lost some pounds and some weight, picked up some, whatever the case. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He's the beginning and the end for you. Yes. He's yes. the first and the last for you. Amen. What he started in you, he will finish. Yes. Yes. Who for the joy that was set before him, he kept his eyes and his mind on heaven. When they put the crown of thorns on his head, his eyes and his mind, his focus was on heaven Amen. because he knew he had something to look forward to. And I want to tell you today, you've got something to look forward to. It is out of this world. It's better than anything on earth. You've got something to look forward to. An eternity with the Lord. Amen. That's better than anything on earth. Yes. All of us are going to get up out of here someday, somehow, someway. Amen. But you got to look to Jesus. Author and finisher, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. We can't take much these days. You let somebody not speak to us today. I ain't never going back to that church. Those folks over there just as mean and hateful. Well, if you wanted somebody to speak to you, you should have spoke to them. Amen. I'm sorry. Yes, that's, yes. that's for Wednesday night. My bad. My bad. This is not supposed to be discussed on Sunday. He endured the cross. He despised the shame. Have you ever thought about it? Our Savior died a horrific death. It was shameful for our Savior to be crucified between two thieves. What more shame is that? He was numbered among the transgressors. That's what the world thinks of our Savior. Like, that's, that's your hero? He up there hanging on the cross. He about to die. And you still believe in it? Yes. Because three days later, mm. the God, hallelujah, three days later, he rose with all power in his hand. And the blessing and benefit of looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, is that he went through more than I will ever go through and came out on the other side sitting at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Can you get that? Can you receive that? Amen. Sitting at the right hand of the throne of God. Through all of them spitting on him, through the crown of thorns on his head, Amen. through them calling him a bastard child, because you know how cruel folks are. You know Joseph ain't your daddy, right? You know that, right? Amen. <laughs> you know your mama crazy for saying the Holy Ghost impregnated her. Come on, come on. Look at Jesus' story. Amen. If we talk that language today, they put us out of society and into an institution. Yes, they will. <laughs> Amen. But Jesus, somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Endured the cross. Yes. Jesus despised the shame. Jesus is now sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yes. And he says in that third verse, and I'm, I'm closing. For consider him, somebody say, consider Jesus. Consider Jesus. That endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Amen. If you focus on the problem, you have no provision. But if you focus on the provision, you have no problem. Amen. Amen. Can you receive that today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you focus on the problem, you can have no provision. But if you focus on the provision, you can have no problem. Amen. Amen. Because the more you look at me, the more discouraged you get. Keep your focus on Jesus. Keep your focus on Jesus. Amen. He the one started it. He the one going to finish it. The Bible says, he which hath begun a good work in you shall perform it when? Until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
What God started in me doesn't finish until he's finished. And how do I know when he's finished? I don't. I just keep on working. Yeah. Amen. Wow. How do you know when God is done? You don't. How do you know when it's over? You don't. Just keep working. Yeah. I, I feel the need to say this. Y'all forgive me. Don't do what you do for me. Do what you do for the Lord. Amen. As unto God and not unto men. Deacon Knox, I'm not going to go there. But when you woke up this morning, what was your intent? To do as unto men or as unto God? If it was to do for men, you've already lost. But if it was to do for God, then that's honorable. Amen. Stick and stay with the Lord. Let him lead you. Let him feed you. Let him guide you. Let him provide for you. Let him direct you and let him protect you. And God will get glory out of your life. And the righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost will be yours. There is no greater benefit than righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Everything you need is included in that because it's all kingdom related. Will you stand for just a moment with me? I want to pray for you. We've learned of Jehovah Sidkenu, the Lord, our righteousness. We've learned of Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, our peace. We've just, we've just learned of Jehovah, our strength and our song. Jehovah, uh, our joy. <clears throat> Nehemiah said when he was building the wall back in Jerusalem, the wall had been destroyed and in Jerusalem was in ruin and uh, Nehemiah took it upon himself to rebuild what had been wasted. And in doing so, they were still under threat. While you're building for God, you're still going to be under threat from the enemy. But he told them to get a hammer in one hand and a sword in the other. At the time you're defending, you're also making, creating, doing work in the kingdom. You're resisting the devil and you're doing for God. Amen. You're always going to fight something, but fight right. Yes. And what do you mean by fight right? Fight the good fight of faith. Yes. Lay hold on eternal life. Where unto thou art also called. Romans the 15th chapter and the 13th verse. The Bible says... This is our great benediction. We have district missionary coming next week. And I won't be back before you until I think the fourth Sunday. Romans 15 and 13. This is our great benediction. Now the God of hope. Fill you with all joy. And peace in believing. That ye may abound in hope. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. That's our memory verse for this week. Now don't get offended if I send it to you every day this week. I want you to get it in your spirit. Now the God of hope fill you. Fill you. Is this bottle filled? For the most part. But is there still room for more? Yeah. That's what I want to let you know. You still got room for more filling from God. All right. All right. You may be full of godliness and righteousness and holiness and goodness, but let the Lord top you off. Amen. 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 Because, oh, yes. Yes, God. Mother, as you deal with me, you're going to get depleted. And you're going to have to say, God, fill me again. Because I talked to that pastor and I left discouraged. Fill me again, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me again. Amen. Fill me up till I want no more. Yes. Amen. Oh, God. But Nehemiah said, as he was rebuilding, he says, go your way. Eat the fat. Drink the sweet. Send portion unto them for whom nothing is prepared for this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy 
of the Lord is your strength. It's the joy of God that makes life worth living. It's the expectation that at the end of my labor, I shall receive the greatest prize ever. You may not get rewarded by me, but don't worry, God's got greater. You may not get back the $10 I borrowed from you, but God's got greater. Amen. You, oh God, I'm sorry. Holy Ghost, yes. You may not even get healed down here on earth, but God still has greater. Amen. Because when we get to heaven, we'll get a new name. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a new body. Yeah. When this mortal shall put on immortality. Ha! Oh. Yes. I'm looking for a better body because yes. sometimes this body turns on me. Yes. I find it hard to get up. Yes. I was so tired last night. I spent almost eight hours in class yesterday and there wasn't nothing left. Uh, uh, uh. I went and got to something to eat, came back, tried to get the sermon together, still didn't get it together, but God had uh, something in store that I could not have ever prepared for. Yeah. Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and portion unto them for whom nothing is prepared. Still be generous in the midst of your trials and tribulations. Still be generous when you are the one in need. Still be generous. Still be a blessing. Just, let me say this. Lady Duffy, we're wounded healers. Sister Contessa, we're wounded healers. We need an operation, but here we are operating on other people. We're in need, but we're here giving. We're helping. We're blessing. And the Lord said, I got you. But Lord, I can barely walk today. I got you. Pain in my body, in my mind, in my heart. I got you. Now go be a blessing to her. Go be a blessing to him. God is, God is just funny like that sometimes. Yeah. But he loves us, evangelists. He does. He really does. Let's pray. If you need God to do something, if you need God's help, if you need God's intervention, intercession, just lift those hands in the presence of God. Father, in Jesus' name. We honor you this day, oh God. We honor you with the fruit of our lips, the doing of our hands. We honor you with our praise and our worship. We honor you with our life and our lifestyle. We honor you with everything that we have. We honor you with who we are. We honor you. We praise you. We glorify and magnify you. We cry out and shout unto you. The God of our salvation, the author and finisher of our faith, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. We honor you, God. And we present ourselves to you with no pretense, oh God. With no pretense. We don't hide anything from you. You see right through us. And Lord, right now, we confess our sins unto you. We confess to you that we've not been altogether righteous, but you have. We've not been altogether holy, but you are. Yes. We've not been everything, but Lord, you have been. Yes. And Lord, we come to you covered in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you look at the blood when you look at us. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood that keeps us from death, destruction, calamity, chaos, violence, and evil, and any such thing yes, God. that would impede our lives. And God, we cry out to you now. Yes. Look on us, God. You know the need. You know the spoken request and the unspoken. And God, we ask for your deliverance now. Yes, God. Work on us, God. Work in us, God. Yes. Work through us to your glory, oh God. Help us, Lord to be whom you've called us to be yes, in these last and evil days. We can't make it without you. We can't do it without you. We can't be it without you. Yes, yes, and we acknowledge our insufficiency and we acknowledge your all-sufficiency. We thank you that our prayer is heard. We thank you that provision is made. We thank you for direction. 
We thank you for protection. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for vision and provision. Thank you for directing us and making preparation for when we get there. Oh God. We ask now, God, that you will look on Dana Perkins. Wherever she is, God, arrest her attention even now. Touch her body, God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. We ask, Lord, that you look on Deacon Louis Cole Wilson, Mother Katie McNeil, oh God, Sister Bernadette Davis. Look on, oh God, Nicholas Sneed family, oh God. Oh God, look on the Tyree Nichols family. Oh God, look on all around the world who are suffering at this moment. God, come in and make things better. God, we don't want to tell you how to do it. We just surrender it to you. We know you know the best way. And so, Lord, we ask that you will even look on us. Everything may be going well, but, Lord, look on us anyway. You know our tomorrows. You know our next weeks. Help us, Lord. Help us cover us and cleanse us. Shield and protect us, God. Keep in hedge around us, God, that the enemy not come in and run roughshod over us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we count it done. Amen and amen. Will you do this for me? God gave me a formula a couple of years ago. He said, prayer, then praise, then deliverance. Will you praise him like it's already done? sleep. 
For if we would judge ourselves, then we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. Let us pray, our Father in heaven, we bless you and honor you. We celebrate and magnify you. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. Thank you for your loving care and keeping of us. Thank you, O oh God, for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ, on Calvary's cross, for the sins of the world. Thank you for giving us a mind to receive the salvation of the Lord. We honor you, God, for all that you've done, for all that you continue to do and be in our lives. We ask, Lord, that you will forgive us for the wrong we've been and for the wrong we've done. Wipe the slate clean, oh God, we pray, between us and you. Oh God, forgive us, cleanse us, and wash us in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Lord, look on these instruments which have been provided, this bread which represents your body, this juice which represents your blood. God, we pray that you will sanctify these instruments, change them, oh God, from their natural use into that which is spiritual. And we shall ever give you all praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. was betrayed he took bread when he had break it he said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do as oft as ye eat it in remembrance of me eat ye all of it after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me drink ye all of it Thank mm -hmm. you. 